Hey everyone, I'm Nicole Herrick DIY and I'm going to show you how to lubricate a mudder saw. Start by taking off any dust collection bags or hoses and mine is like a little peg that you just pinch and then squeeze off and then if you've got any debris stuck in that then make sure you clean that out thoroughly. A toothbrush comes in really handy for this. Then I'm going to blow it off. I use my leaf blower but you could use a can of air. Then I'm going to wipe down everything just with a microfiber cloth that is completely dry. Get into all those crevices with that toothbrush. All right, now let's have a look at our sliding rail here. Now you can see I've got some rust um, on here. Still slides okay, but yeah, this is this is not great. Let's give it a clean. To clean it, we're gonna use regular WD-40. This is not gonna be our lubricant though. We need to spray it with a dry lube um, in order to make this slide and stay really nice and smooth. So this is just for cleaning. I'm going to leave that to sit for about a minute and then I'm going to give it a scrub. My plate here is also quite dirty, so I'm going to clean that with the WD-40 as well. All right, so that's been sitting for a minute. So I'm just going to go in and have a look and see how that's scrubbing. I'm going to add some more WD-40. Tighten this up so I can really give it a good scrub. All right, so I can see that a lot of that has come off, but we might need to grab a scrubbing pad and give that another coat and then go a bit harder. Okay, the scrubbing pad refuses to be found, so I'm going to try some steel wool. sliding a lot better but that's just the cleaning stage so now what we need to do is put it with some degreaser uh, to get all of that residue left over from the WD-40 and then we're going to spray it with a dry lubricant that repels any sawdust. So the recommended dry lubricants are either a graphite based spray on or a PTFE lubricant. Now, some people do say you can use a silicon-based dry lube, but these two are the most recommended. Now I'm just going to clean off the rest of the machine with the grease remover and we'll lube up any other pieces that need it. I also want some down inside here, which helps this pivoting arm. make sure we get rid of all that excess and we're also going to try and get this sliding nicely so I'm going to spray some in this side and if you're not sure where it is you're meant to be spraying just push up and down and see which part is actually moving, okay? All right, now let's give it a few pumps. Here, which also pivots, so I'm going to spray in there as well. That stopped a lot of that extra noise. All right, much better. Now, I always want to run a couple of tests before I start cutting with this machine, just in case anything has come out of alignment. So I want to be making sure that my cuts are coming down at 90 degrees and that I'm 90 degrees this way. So let's just do a test cut.
And I just realized that I'm checking the exact same angle here. Um, yeah, you want to check the vertical, Nicole, you idiot. Okay, we're good. But I did actually have to adjust this. I had to adjust the back lever and this just to make sure everything was square. Now we're good, so I'm happy to start cutting. If you found this video helpful, please drop me a comment below. It helps the YouTube algorithm gods. And if you haven't already, subscribe because there's lots more DIY tips on my channel.